and welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be your reading from October 18th through the 25th. Now before we get jumped into your reading, I have pre-shuffled and cut all these decks just for you. Um, but first, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell below if you have not. If you wish to have a personal reading or want to support me in the Patreon account, you will find that in the description box below. If you're feeling my vibe, you might really want to consider the Patreon account because it does get you a certain number of free personal readings every week for your support. All right, let's jump right in. Scorpio from October 18th to the 25th. Scorpio, 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 October 18th to the 25th. That one wanted to be heard. A Scorpio, October 18th to the 25th. Scorpio, October 18th to the 25th. Okay, we had a flipper. Always love the flippers. Okay, I'm going to move this down some so you get a better view of all the cards. So, this is your recent past. This is your present. This is your near future. This is someone to you. This is you to that someone. This is the balance. This is your outcome, and this is a brief summary. Now, I will clarify all of these cards, and I will be holding things up to the camera so you get a better view. But without clarification, what I'm seeing here is that there was a partnership in your past. And that partnership in the past led to somebody looking at options and looking at those options created a certain amount of heartache. And with it, possibly a third party situation, you'll have to take that as it resonates because this is a general reading. In your present moment, you have the emperor, which is Aries energy. And moving into the near future, there is some happiness here and there is some forward motion with some happiness and you could be interacting with a Leo. Now, I know the Emperor said, I said it, it is a card of Aries, but it could also represent just a person in a position of authority or possibly a father or father figure. Take that as it resonates. Someone to you is coming at you with some Leo energy there with some strength. You did that someone you're coming at back at them with feeling a little generous, which is pretty good. And then the balance there is found in the Three of Cups. Now, uh, that could be a celebration. It could be a third party situation. Since you had that in the past, it's possible it's here in the future. Or, you know, it could just be feeling good vibes, man. And outcome here is the Queen of Cups, which is the need to use your intuition about things. Right, and now the summary about that is there's a choice to make. Now, the, this person could be at a distance from you with the world card or something could be coming to a conclusion. World card energy is Capricorn and Aquarius. And there's some sort of conflict still here with the using of the intuition or if this is, you know, you, uh, a Cancer, another Scorpio or a Pisces you could be interacting with, any of that. But let's get some clarification so we have a better idea. What is this Two of Cups in Scorpio's past? What is this Two of Cups here in Scorpio's past? Seven of Swords, that's not good. What is this Two of Cups in Scorpio's past? Ace of Wands, what is this Two of Cups in Scorpio's past? Okay, so Page of Cups. So you have this partnership and this is, I mean, this is Seven of Swords. It's lying it's stealing it's cheating it's sneakiness it's any one of those things 
and you've got some information here. Maybe there was an apology given. Maybe you decided to forgive this person and that's why you have the Ace of Wands with this Two of Cups. Or maybe you just decided to have your own beginning over there on your own because you weren't going to deal with that anymore. You're going to need to take that as it resonates. I feel like we should know a little bit more about that Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in Scorpio's past. The Magician, Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in Scorpio's past. The Hangman. Okay, so you needed to you need to be patient. You needed to be patient here. Because, I mean, you could have been inter interacting with a Gemini or a Virgo. But you walked away. I mean, there was a withdrawal here. Someone walked away from somebody else because of this uh, sneaky behavior. And likely that's, you know, an apology came through. But, you know, you decided to have a beginning on your own. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in Scorpio's past. Five of Cups. More walking away energy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in Scorpio's past. Queen of Swords. Head over heart decision. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in Scorpio's past. Queen of Cups. Which is here in your outcome. I really feel like that's you. Uh, so... There was some walking away because there was some head over heart decisions going on here. And you know, you used your intuition here. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in Scorpio's past. That's an air sign, you know, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Gemini. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in Scorpio's past. It's <laughs> Okay, so your Queen of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So there was some kind of communication that came through here. Some very practical communication, and there was a walking away. I mean, that's really basically what that comes down to. Somebody made a head over heart decision, and you were very sure of this, but it's also very highly possible you were interacting with an air sign and they walked away from you. Tell me about this Three of Swords in Scorpio's past. The Fool, tell me about this uh, Three of Swords in Scorpio's past. Ace of Cups, tell me about this Three of Swords in Scorpio's past. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there was a heartache. Now maybe it was a third party situation because the options here, but it, you know, it doesn't need to be, third party doesn't have to be somebody cheating on you. It can certainly be that if it resonates with you. But it doesn't have to be. It could just be third party interference of some kind. Someone involving themselves in something that they shouldn't is sufficient, right? So, and that's clarified by someone uh, taking a risk, somebody going out on their own looking for something new and deciding to put the work into it instead of staying with what they had. So, tell me about this emperor in Scorpio's present. Tell me about this Emperor. Knight of Wands. It's player energy. Tell me about this Emperor in Scorpio's present. The Magician. You got the Magician twice there. Like, like I said, uh, Gemini or a uh, Virgo, especially with this air sign showing up so hard in the past here. Tell me about this uh, Scorpio. No, sorry. Tell me about this Emperor in Scorpio's present. Um, doo -doo. Nine of Swords. So this Emperor had some little bit of in and out energy with you. And uh, it left some heartache. Or you had some in and out energy with this uh, Emperor. And it created heartache from them. You, you're going to need to take that as it resonates. Okay, tell me about this Ten of Cups. In Scorpio's near future. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ten of Cups in Scorpio's near future. The Death card. Look at you showing up in your own energy. <laughs> Look at this. Scorpio. What is this Ten of Cups for in Scorpio's near future? The Emperor. Okay, so if this person was in or out with you, um, you got some communication here about that. And you could be possibly just bringing something to an end. This, I mean, this could be your energy, but...
but you could just be bringing this uh, to a conclusion. You could just be done, and that's how you're reaching your happiness. Let's clarify this emperor. Tell me about this emperor in Scorpio's near future. Ten of Wands. Tell me about this emperor in Scorpio's near future. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this emperor in Scorpio's near future. No, nope, 20 cards. Tell me about this emperor in Scorpio's near future. Knight of Swords. All right, then. All right, so... Again, it's looking like an air sign. And like I said, this could be work. This doesn't have to be anything romantic. But whatever this is, this communication came through, right? And uh, so you see you've got a communication card here. And a commun this is fast-moving energy, fast-moving communication. You received some sort of communication from this person, whoever they are. Likely an air sign. But you, you, you put down the burden. You were done with this. And that's why you got to the Knight of Pentacles. You might be single now and you weren't before, or you know, or you could be really achieving a really high amount at work. You got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups right there. So walking away, setting down the burden of whatever it is, it's ultimately what's gonna lead you to your happiness there. You're stressing now and you just, you're gonna decide not to anymore. <laughs> Tell me about this uh, chariot in Scorpio's near future. Tell me about this chariot in Scorpio's near future. Tell me about this chariot in Scorpio's near future. Okay. So it, this chariot is uh, clarified by the two of pentacles, the five of swords, and the four of wands. So yeah, you're, um, you're moving on to find your own happiness, your own celebration. Like you're gonna spend some time thinking about what that is. It, you might have some conflict here with the Five of Swords, but you know, see, he's holding all the swords. These people are walking away. The Five says a lot of walking away kind of energy. So you know, you're moving on from this, regardless of whoever this person is and why they did what they did. You're you're moving on to your own happiness. Tell me about this Strength card in Scorpio's future. Ten of Swords, tell me about this Strength card in Scorpio's future. Like, who, what's this person up to? <laughs> tell me about the Strength card. It's Ten of Pentacles in Scorpio's near future. This is a lot of tens in one reading, just so you know. Page of Swords. So this person is, is somebody in your community. You already know who they are. And they're going to communicate with you. There was some kind of betrayal. Um, like I said, it could be Leo that you're interacting with. Uh, or it's possible that they're, they're some sort of air sign. But they, there was some kind of betrayal here from somebody in a community. Or they were betrayed, one or the other. But whatever that betrayal is, it's coming to an end. Six of Pentacles. That's you feeling generous. Tell me to this person. Maybe it, the hurt that they're feeling didn't have anything to do with you. Like you didn't cause it. And you're just trying to help them. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in Scorpio's near future. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in Scorpio's future. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Okay, we'll take those. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Strength card, <laughs> the Four of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So you're going to communicate back with this person, and you're going to be looking for a peaceful resolution. Whatever it is that happened in the past, you're willing to put that in the past. And you're willing to, you know, take a rest now from this person. You're going to be generous in your, let me take a rest. <laughs> what is this three of cups in Scorpio's balance? What is this three of cups in Scorpio's, bal Scorpio's balance? <laughs> what is this three of cups in Scorpio's balance? You're... <laughs> This is clarified, Three of Cups is clarified by the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles, and the Temperance. That's uh, Sagittarius energy. Your, uh, the balance is found in continuing to be balanced and continuing to move away, continuing to not interact with this person, really. I mean, this because this Three of Cups because it could be third party interference still. You could be noticing that pattern from them and you're just, you're not having it. You're gonna. I'm gonna keep moving on with my happy self as I was doing in my near future. Tell me, 
about this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Tell me about this Queen of Cups in Scorpio's future. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in Scorpio's future. Oh. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Six of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this Nine of Pentacles is yours. This is your happiness that you're you're searching for. And you do feel some nostalgia for whoever this person is here. King of Cups, though, it's also your energy. Um, but this is the second time. I mean, you get the King and Queen of Cups, right? And then over here, we had we got the uh, King and Queen of Swords. And then you have the Queen of Cups over here, too. You get the Queen of Swords twice. So this is like an, an equal. This is somebody that you consider equal to you. You don't recognize them as being, you know, an authority or anything. But you do feel nostalgic for what was. But you're also over here focused on your own happiness. You're using your intuition. And your intuition is on point. This person was sneaky in the past. They are still being sneaky in the future. And you're not, uh, you're not having it. What is this Two of Wands in Scorpio's uh, future? Ace of Pentacles. What is this Two of Wands? It's too many cards. What is this Two of Wands in Scorpio's future? Three of Cups. What is this Two of Wands in Scorpio's future? All right, I'll take both of those. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I find it funny. <laughs> the Two of Wands in your future is about making a choice. And your choice is to continue to walk away. Someone is trying to communicate with you and you're not having it. You're just saying no. And you're moving on with your happy celebration self. Uh, and, you know, looking for new opportunities here with your Ace of Pentacles. And you find it in someone. Again, this is Gemini energy. And you had the Magician more than once. So that's really heavy Gemini energy. Uh, so you could be interacting with Gemini. But you're just, you're moving on and looking towards your own future. That's what this is. Someone from the past came back and you said, no thanks. Tell me about this uh, world card. This person could be at a distance from you, remember? So tell me about this world card here in uh, Scorpio's future here. Tell me about the world card, Hierophant. Tell me about the world card, the tower. Tell me about the world card. Yeah, something's at an end here. <laughs> the hermit, yeah. So whatever this is, for you, the higher fund, it could be a Taurus that you're interacting with, but it also could be a marriage. Mission detected at the front door. There you go. Or it could be a, it could very well be a uh, institution of some kind, uh, a job, something of that nature. And it's at an end. I mean, the tower and the world card, like the world card being clarified by the tower, it's at an end whatever this is, and you're, you know, going within, you could be interacting with a Virgo, because again, you know, the Magician's also a Virgo card, but you're, you're going within, Scorpio season is, you know, is starting during the course of what this reading is, so, you know, you, you could, that's when we go within, that's when we do the shadow work, the dark night of the soul, right, so it's entirely possible that you're, you know, you're just done with something and you're you're going within to work on it. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about uh, there being a conflict, but you don't necessarily care. Tell me about the Seven of Wands in Scorpio's future. Yeah, you're not caring. Tell me about the Seven of Wands in Scorpio's future. Yeah. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Hangman. That's okay. So <laughs> the Hangman, the Nine of Cups, uh, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Okay. So there's a conflict. You just also don't care. You're gonna go within. You don't care if anybody doesn't like it. You're, you'll communicate with only with who you want to communicate with. And your focus is on your own happiness, which it should be, so good for you. Let's get some advice. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. The Fool. Advice for Scorpio. My Priestess. Advice for Scorpio. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's time for you to have a new start. That's your advice. Have your new start. I mean, this is Aries energy. This is Cancer energy. But have your new start. Trust your intuition. You will have victory if you trust your intuition. So have your new start. Don't
Don't be worried about what other people might want for you. Or of you. It's not their life. They don't get to pick. Messages for Scorpio. I remember every detail of that day. Messages for Scorpio. I don't really know you. Messages for Scorpio. I don't think they'd be right about that. I was careless with you. Um, well, obviously, if you're doing third-party situations and betraying people, like, dang. All right, so this is the part of the reading where if you have a yes or no question, please think it now. Messages for Scorpio. Communicate clearly. This keeps coming up. Messages for Scorpio. If you believe, and within the next few weeks, so this is a yes. This is basically a yes if, and this is here is the time frame. So communicate clearly, because if you believe you can get what you want, and it will be coming in the next few weeks. So in Scorpio season, so it's beautiful. And let's get you a moonology card. Advice for Scorpio. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Advice for Scorpio. Surrender to the divine, full moon. Advice for Scorpio. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. And then what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is your commitment is being tested. First corner moon. Take time to breathe out, seminating moon. And the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. And then let's get you a fairy card. Advice for Scorpio. What you got for messages, actually? It's more like messages. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. Fairy faith. We see your heart, and it is it is pure and innocent. Remember, you have the power to believe in yourself just as we believe in you. Have faith, for we have faith in you. Maybe that's your club close so you can read it. Okay, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I hope it helped. And uh, please do remember, again, to hit that like and subscribe. And as we wrap up this reading, remember, you are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.